Howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanna share with y'all three items with regards to uh, emergency preparation, uh, storms, power outages, things like that. I've got three items that I got from Amazon that actually work and I wanna share them with you right now. So I'm filming this video, it's in early March of 2021. If you followed the news, uh, latter part of February, we, we've had some of the coldest temperatures Texas has ever had major power outages for several days uh, but luckily uh, we were uh, very fortunate uh, i prepare for these kind of situations we keep food on hand i've got generators and we've got some other things but three things in particular that we actually used i want to share with you uh, and i've got links to all this stuff down below in my amazon store yes i've got an amazon store why because every stinking youtube person has one you're shopping there anyways whatever click the link uh, it'll take you to the three items. So here we go. Number one, outdoor faucet covers. So it doesn't have to be this one. The actual one that I purchased from Amazon is no longer available. Who knows, maybe the store merchant went out. I'm talking about a bag type covering with some Velcro that goes around uh, your outdoor faucets. A couple days before the major storm hit, it was still cold in Texas. I was coming back uh, from doing some business travels uh, I think it was on a Thursday afternoon and I stop in, I think at Lowe's or Home Depot, to try to get uh, some pipe insulation um, and some stuff just to try to winterize the house. I couldn't find anything for the outdoor faucets, um, but I knew I had Amazon behind my back. And so I went online and I purchased two of these things. They actually showed up in about two days, but it was before the main storm hit. So they actually worked extremely well. We had no water issues no freezing issues outside. Um, and one of the reasons why I like these is because uh, typically most people get those styrofoam uh, covers and they're, they're bulky after you use them. So a lot of people just throw them away. They don't really keep them. Uh, these things actually hold up really well. They collapse, they get small. Uh, I'm actually gonna make a small little tub in my garage uh, with uh, plumbing and outdoor preparedness stuff that this is going in. Uh, you gotta remember when you're protecting your outdoor faucets or whatnot, guys, we're essentially trying to keep uh, moisture, keep rain and keep wind away from it. Uh, because if those two things mix up, if you get cold temperatures, you can really freeze up those outdoor faucets and cause problems. So that's what you're really trying to do. Protect against from wind, protect against from rain. Almost any type of thing can do. This actually does have a little bit of padding in it. Any type of one of these outdoor coverings that has any decent review will work. So other than those styrofoam things, you got options. Number two, these lanterns that we got, these LED lanterns, uh, they came in a four pack. Uh, and I was actually impressed with these things. When we first got these, I think we actually got them back in like early 2020. Uh, when I first got these things, they they do feel cheap. I'm gonna be honest with you. They feel like pieces of crap. These things last for several days. Uh, we would use them all throughout the house, especially at night um, during the winter apocalypse. We would put everybody in the master bedroom and we would actually take one of these because it was dark. There was no light, all the out light was out. And we didn't really wanna run a candle throughout the night. So we just stuck one of these in the corner of our bedroom and popped it open just a little bit to get some light. We would also keep one in a bathroom in case somebody had to wake up and go to the restroom in the middle of the night. Uh, but guys, uh, my daughter accidentally left one of these things on uh, overnight for multiple days in her bedroom and it stayed on for several days. So these things work. Uh, and the thing also I like about them since it came into a four pack and it was relatively inexpensive, uh, we had some friends uh, come over to the house because we had gas to cook and uh, gas to run our fireplace. And so our neighbors and friends came over and we had a good time, uh, but they really didn't have any flashlights or anything like that. So I was able to kind of let them loan them um, one of these lanterns and you know we still had plenty to do what we needed to do so if you're looking for a good light source um, these little lanterns right here uh, these things are great uh, they light up pretty pretty stinking well and they last a long time so uh, yeah while they might feel cheap they actually do work and I was impressed with these things last siphon tube 
If you haven't yet seen my video on generators, go ahead and watch it up there. One of the things that I talk about is fuel storage. I'm a fan of dual fuel generators because it gives you options to run uh, propane or natural gas in the event that you either run out of gasoline or you're limited on your supply. What a lot of people don't realize though, and in addition to talking about storing gasoline and gas tanks or whatnot, you've got a bigger fuel supply than what you think. And I'm talking about your cars. Now, newer cars do have some uh, anti-siphoning stuff and they're uh, built into their gas tanks, but some of the older cars don't. And we actually used this thing um, to kind of siphon some gas out and it beats the hell out of the old way of trying to suck on a garden hose. So what this is, it actually has like a check valve, a ball uh, in this little uh, end cap right here. The ball is glass and I believe this part is copper or brass uh, to prevent corrosion. What you do is you actually stick this in in your fuel supply. This end is going into whatever you want to fill up. You stick this in and you begin to shake it. You can hear the ball going. And what that does is it creates suction, creates suction until you fill this entire hose up and then that um, that fuel will begin to flow. So one of these siphon tubes, I think this one is actually a super siphon.com one. Uh, but yeah, uh, these are great to have uh, in the event that you need to siphon off fuel or even water you can use it for. So anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. Like I said, three items from Amazon that actually worked out fairly inexpensive. Uh, but they really, really did come in handy, and we actually did use them during the snow apocalypse. Once again, uh, I got my Amazon store link down below, and I've got links to these three products. You don't have to get these specific products, um, just something similar to it. I wanted to give you guys an idea of kind of some of the stuff that does work. But uh, yeah, everything worked uh, the faucet covers, the light, the siphon tube. Um, yeah, guys. Do what you need to do to be prepared for storm season or if something crazy happens and your power goes out, um, need to be prepared. Thank you all so much for watching. Be safe, be smart, be skilled. Catch you on the next video.